1982 still cannot be prosecuted. Time for weather, and yeah. this is not like exactly what you call a cooling trend, is it? No, not really, at <laughs> least for right now. Oh, it's only 96 here in the metro, though, so we're cooling down a little bit. <laughs> I have evidence that it is cooler, though. Let's go ahead and show you what's going on. First of all, check this shot out. You know, we had a lot of thunderstorms yesterday across the area. Today, we don't have quite as many. We've got a lot of great pictures from yesterday, and this is one of them. Some impressive stuff, but obviously dangerous stuff as well. Current temperatures right now, improvement. Slight improvement. Admittedly, it's still brutally hot out there. 80s to the north for us, 90s here in central sections, including Santa Fe at 91, 92 in Grant, Albuquerque in the low 90s, and down to the south temperatures for the most part in the high 90s for us, although Deming still very warm at 103. But when you compare these temperatures to what we had just 24 hours ago, there is improvement. Now, I know this isn't huge improvement, but Albuquerque a little bit better, 4 degrees cooler. Santa Fe actually a shade warmer, but we are, for the most part, cooler across the state. 5 degrees degrees cooler in Los Alamos, four degrees cooler in Gallup. But take a look at Hobbs, 31 degrees cooler than we were 24 hours ago. Why? Well, Hobbs is picking up some rain, and rain makes all the difference in the world and cooling that air mass over you, and that's what we're seeing right now. And this is definitely the portion of the state we're most concerned with tonight and during the overnight hours. We're seeing an expansion in the storms coming up from the south in Texas, and a good line of storms now working their way in across southeastern New Mexico. Mexico through Lee County at this point. Some of this now approaching into Eddy County too. So we do have to watch this because I don't think this complex of storms is going to go away during the overnight hours. In fact, what you're seeing is an expansion of these storms. So I'd look for a good chance at some wetting rains tonight across the southeast. And there could even be some isolated pockets where you pick up quite a bit of rain out of what's going on here. So we do need to watch this. The rest of the state at this point, for the most part, seeing scattered thunderstorms that don't have a whole lot of punch to them. There are some isolated areas that are grabbing a little bit of hail. We had a storm around Edgewood earlier today that had some small hail with it. Now this is going to migrate to the east. There is enough moisture to support these storms for the next few hours, and then these are going to die off. And then overall, the trend is going to be for drier conditions across the state forest. And actually, temperatures are going to start to back off as well. So for tomorrow, we're still going to be warm. 90s across the northern half of the state, triple-digit heat down south. But the western two-thirds of New Mexico will start to dry out tomorrow and then stay Statewide, we're going to see fewer and fewer storms working their way through by Wednesday and Thursday. And usually this doesn't work itself out to pair up this way, but we're going to dry out and actually cool down here as we head toward the end of the work week and into the weekend. The price we pay for all that will be quite a bit of wind and a lot more fire danger across the state force. Another one of these storms is going to go to our north as we approach the latter part of the work week here. So those dry southwest winds will go ahead and dry us out. And then as the storm goes to our north. We'll switch those winds and bring them out of the northwest here, and that will help temperatures. But for the most part here, we're going to stay dry, and we're going to keep that fire danger going across the board here. And as you can see there, storm's going to be the biggest concern for us across the south and east later on tonight. So for the four corners, temperatures in the 80s and 90s for tomorrow. Lots of sunshine. We're going to keep things hot the next couple of days. Slight chance at a storm Friday, Saturday as that next system lists to our north. South and west, very hot again tomorrow. Triple digit heat. Lordsburg, Deming, and Las Cruces. South and east, there will be enough moisture here to support the storms tonight and tomorrow afternoon as well. 101 in Roswell, 99 in Fort Sumner. And you can see we keep the heat going, triple digits all the way through the rest of the work week. North and east, we will keep enough moisture here to touch off a storm or two with temperatures in the 80s and 90s. Northern mountains farther west, fewer storms farther east, a little better chance at a spot storm or two. Santa Fe looks good, though, with very warm temperatures through the next couple of days. And then you can see cooling by well, nearly 10, 12 degrees by the time we hit the weekend. 95 to Harris, 95 in Estancia. Good chance at a spot storm tomorrow. And then metro area looks good. Mostly sunny. It will be hot. 100 in the valley. Albuquerque extended. Well, we're warm for a few days. And then, hey, Jess, just in time for the weekend. Bring in the wind. Perfect. But yeah. we also get some 80s in there, which will be Yes, nice. much better temps. All right. Thank you, Mark. Sports is next.